three minutes after reset, let's get started. We might as well. Oh, right, it's not saved. It's saved on the client side of the previous ships. That's a bit annoying, but we'll pick them out. Uh, Cut and okay. Yeah, that'll do. Stock up coins for the upcoming event. Wisdom cube. Nothing there. Four days till that resets. Guild shop. I don't know what's with this refresh one. I would have thought it would have reset by now. In case, let's grab full course. Um, gear parts. I think generals are going to be most valuable in the long run, even if probably main gun parts are probably the best in the short run. We'll pick the general parts. Let's see. Send those. White plates. And more merit. 30. Uh, I'll take care of that later. Start the light build. Pick the food. 2171. I'm going to think of it, since Operation doesn't drop, uh, doesn't drop uh, ships, we may have a lower metal income than we used to. We'll have to see. I mean, he's now for the main event, which is the Operation Siren Shops. Also, did we get another... I was there before. Did we get another stronghold? We did not. Okay, uh, let's go to port then. Or not port. Uh, we're still in this area. I left them there because we had an Akashi, and previously uh, the Akashi would have a a countdown timer for midnight, after which the shop would reset. Which is kind of weird, since I mean, where is she getting her resupply from out here? Uh, they removed the timer, as far as I can tell, although I've been known to be blind sometimes, but we'll see if the shop actually still resets. Nope. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Usual, we'll go in the order. The shops are usually unlocked. New York City. Oh, 
Squad new missions. Protect the port under siren attack. Ocean supply. Ooh. ooh. Rainbow logger. Actually, we don't even have to go anywhere to do that one. Just purchase it straight off. Uh, so I got in this shop. Uh, we definitely want the action points. Um, I don't know if I actually want the tuning samples. Everything's already capped out. We'll pick up these since we've got way too many operation coins. Uh, we'll we'll come back to these later. Decide later. That does it for this port. We'll claim this one. Oh, nice. It also gave us those two. I think that should be enough to build uh, one of the new dive bombers. Which I think I will prioritize since... Let's see. Then, oh, it's auto opens. Okay. Um, let's see. And we got more missions here. Let's head there first. Pick up those missions. Or no, that's the mission objective. Silly me. Uh, and what was that thing? Map cards. Okay, the siren one hasn't been used yet. I'll keep that in storage until I rejigger my fleets to be something more, more optimal. Right now, I'm just farming plates off the, off the exploration objectives. The exploration objectives have a bunch of potential rewards, but a lot of the objective requirements are just completely ridiculous if not literally impossible so the only so the only uh, reward that's really worth speaking about that can also be reasonably obtained is the new gold plates um, I'm making a guide to which zones to get those uh, exploration stars for those gold plate objectives um, I've heard rumors that some things are going to change with the upcoming maintenance tomorrow in 24 hours. So I'm going to wait till then to see if anything drastic changes. But if not, I'll probably go ahead and publish that that uh, guide. Well, it's not really a guide, most of a more like an infographic. Anyways, assuming nothing changes, I've calculated that uh, there are several zones that you can farm stars on, or farm your way to to a star. And in the end, you should be able to gain about 50 or 60 gold plates at a average cost of about uh, 50 action points per plate. Which is a lot if you're, I mean, that's that's like 500 oil um, if you're using oil to buy the action points, which is quite a bit, but uh, considering that the plates are the, the current main way to uh, boost your ship performance back, um, back above the uh, the previous top performance you could get. Uh, I mean, you might as well go for those. Mission complete. That's both missions. 
Okay. Uh, let's head to Liverpool. Wipe out all sirens at the destination. And well, let's do it. Was the port having supply? Let's see. Well, we're gonna pick these. I have no idea how many of these are necessary to fully, uh, fully strengthen a ship, but uh, no sense in taking chances there. R2 coordinate. Eh, pretty mediocre, but might as well. We'll pick these simply because we have so many option coins. These we'll leave for now. Actually, uh, let's just pick them. Um, let's see. Next is Gibraltar. I'm told only two ports get missions each, uh, each resupply. Let's see what we have here. Rainbow, rainbow double plate. I'm definitely picking that up. Um, I will pick those as well. Random gear parts. Those are a must buy as well. Okay, and then our final stop of St. Petersburg. see ultra rare gear design plans of the included options so we get to pick uh, I'm definitely taking that one Let's see wait was that a f well it was a 500 pack pretty big we'll pick this up as well Okay, pretty good haul, I'd say. Uh, though I th probably would have preferred more plates, but what can you do? Okay. We'll continue to clear out these mission objectives while I think of if there's anything else I would like to record on stream here. I guess I could show you what I'm talking about with some of those mission objectives. But we'll finish off this mission real quick before I go to that.
Okay, that finishes that. Okay, so if we go to information, exploration, progress, um, let's see. So the first zone of interest is Caribbean Sea Delta. Um, I hope it shows the map pin. Well, I guess that's too much to ask. Okay, so uh, Caribbean Sea Delta. Uh, as you can see, uh, like most of these objectives are just ridiculous. Like y you probably get a science scanning facility maybe less than one in 10 times. So you'd have to go into the zone like 60 times at least to fulfill this objective. That's, that's just totally ridiculous. Uh, record file... I mean that's that's also RNG, but what but the zone does rely uh, the zones do reliably spawn uh, mod fleets a fixed number depending on the corruption level and resource nodes. So uh, this way you can get three stars without relying on RNG. If you look here, you get the third star. You get f ten random of these gold plates. So. This is one of the two best zones right now for uh, getting gold plates from these star objectives. Uh, the other big one is Southeast, uh, let's see, what is it? Southeast Ocean Ridge Delta. Uh, if we go to the map here, um, let's flip it. Can I click on? Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's Caribbean Sea Delta. That's one of the two best ones. The other of the best ones, that is the, the least action point investment per plate gained. This one, Southeast Ocean Ridge Delta. It's not the one at Dakar, it's the one right next to it on the bottom border. Uh, if we go to the exploration progress um, and look up, the ID number is 54. 54. Yeah. And this one, all you need to do is collect 24 resource nodes. Now, this is a corrosion level 4 zone, and if I check my notes, it is guaranteed to spawn four resource points every time you enter the map on safe mode. So uh, I don't remember how many it gave for the first clear, but after it's reached safe mode, you will be guaranteed to get that objective after you've cleared it six times. Once you've cleared it, ah, we need to go back there. Once you've cleared it six times, then you can uh, go and collect these five. There's also a nice 10 here, but unfortunately the other objectives are not as friendly. Uh, I mean, the Promed Pawns only spawn the very first time you enter the map, so that's not really possible right now. Um, and I don't remember the other objectives. I data mined them, but they they weren't very friendly either. So, uh, so you're kind of stuck with this five. But five is still quite good, um, especially for this relatively low investment. So these are the two easiest areas to get those plates from exploration. Um, there's quite a few more zones that also give plates, but will take a little more work. Um, I'm preparing a infographic about this. We'll see if they change anything during the next maintenance. If not, I'll just go ahead and publish it so you can all benefit from those extra plates. Um, I think that's all the interesting things I have to say for now. 
So I'll end the stream here. For the probably not all that many of you that are watching, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.